Hello, everybody. Welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation, and this is Oceans, a turn-based strategy card game based on a board game that I'm very excited to be checking out here today. And since I have not played the board game, let's go on into the tutorial here and learn how to play. The game is free to play and try on Steam, but you can buy the full version for five bucks. I have just went ahead and done that, uh, but you can try a limited pool card version for free, like I was saying there. Welcome to Oceans. Venture into a vast world filled with known and unknown creatures. Your survival depends on adapting to the unexpected. We go first, and as the first player, we get four points. Oh, suck it, AI. Let's make a species. Drag the filter feeder card to the plus sign to create a new species. Okay. Your species will need population, so drag your species to the reef to forage. It'll take population equal to its foraging icon. So we'll get five. Your goal in oceans is to collect the most population because every population is worth one point. The player with the most points at the game end wins. After feeding, each species ages one population and it goes into your score bag. Okay. You've earned a point. This, wait, this round giving us a score of five total. We'll skip discarding for now. Hit skip discard on, okay, and end the turn. Your opponent created a species with the tentacled trait. Hover over the tentacled to see what it does. May feed an additional time. But it only feeds for one? By default, a species can feed once from the reef or can attack other species. Okay. So you've attacked me twice, though. We got attacked twice. But why? How? I thought you could only attack me once. Well, whatever. We need to protect our filter feeder. Find and play a defensive trait onto your species. They have a black background around the description. Schooling. Aging plus one. So it's worth an extra point. May not be attacked when the species has five or more. Uh, busted combo. Protects as long as we have more than five population. Let's eat. This means you cannot attack, so you must forge from the reef. Schooling protects us as long as we have more than five. Yeah, yeah. So increases the rate of aging. So you score two points, giving us seven points in the bag. Skip discarding and see what our opponent does. Created a new species with a symbiotic trait. This lets it feed whenever the species next to it feeds. Okay, so you can just, you can attack twice. Oh yeah, that's right. That's, duh. That's the passive of the, of the thing there. So I thought that that was, uh, okay. All right. So that means they can attack, quote unquote, attack the reef twice. Gotcha. Triggered symbiotic twice. Let's play a whale cleaner card to create a new species. Play to the right of your filter feeder. After species with three or more forages, gain three if this is the closest whale cleaner on either side. Okay. Gains when it is closest to a filter feeder that feeds. You may only feed one species each turn, so choose the best species to feed. It sure as hell seems like it should be this one. Because we'll gain the extra three. Normally, species will lose population when it takes its tenth population and hits the bones icon, but since the filter feeder trait prevents over overpopulation, we don't. You score three points this round for a total of ten. Skip discarding. Your opponent plays a defense on her tentacled species. It can't be attacked or leached as long as there is food in the reef. Okay, you're going to attack this son of a gun twice. Your opponent attacked with your whale cleaner twice uh, with her tentacled species. <laughs> I don't love that sentence. Uh, your whale cleaner has zero population, but it does not go extinct. They will only go extinct if they don't have enough population to age during their own aging phase. Gotcha. It's your turn again. Play the bottom feeder or the whale cleaner. On the, play the bottom feeder on the whale cleaner. Gains two after the species to the right is attacked. Why would I want that right now? 
Each time the species to the right of it is attacked, it gains two population, even if the species to your right is your opponent's. Oh, okay, so it's like a circle. So to your right would be here. Interesting. I, wouldn't it still be better to go for this? I guess we overflow. Like, I'm guessing we, we go here and we don't overpopulate. But we don't. Okay. Nice work. Your attack triggered the bottom feeder. You score three points for this round for a total of 13. At the end of your turn, you may discard cards. Discard both of our filter feeders. We already have one. Can you not have another one? Wait. Click both the cards you want to discard. What have I done? What have I done? What have I done? Oh. Okay. I have discard both of our filter feeders. Click both of the cards you want to discard to hit the discard button. I... Okay. Okay. I think there's a tiny bug there. <laughs> Popped up eventually. Your opponent creates a new species with a parasitic trait. The species leeches two population from species to its left immediately before the feeding phase. Oh, okay. So your wait. To its left? No, it says to its... Well, okay, well. It's left because I guess it doesn't want to be confusing because of it being the opponent, but gotcha. Schooling hinders an attack, but it does not stop leeching. Oh, no! You dirty devil! Uh-oh, your opponent is able to attack your filter feeder again because it fell below five population. That's right, you piece of trash. You need to stop our opponent's parasite. Create a new species with your parasitic trait so that it leeches off of your opponent's parasite. So can we normally put these on either side? I'm guessing. So we're going to have a, a parasite fight. The parasite leeches the opponent's only population. Now we need to get our filter feeder back to five. Wonderful. One hint, if you want to know the game layout, click the I button in the upper left corner. Whoa! What the hell? Nice work. Uh, yep. Okay. Let's venture into the deep. Lurking far down in the depths of the ocean lie bizarre creatures. Click on the deep cards on the right side of your screen. We can take one of these powerful traits per round. We won't be able to play them, however, yet. Go ahead and choose the Leviathan. Aging plus one may not be attacked. Why can't we play it yet? I wonder. Okay. Let's discard the transparent. Wait, discard transparent as the reef is almost empty. May not be attacked. Okay, fair enough. Your opponent creates a whale cleaner to gain from your filter feeder. Wait. Notice her parasite does not leech because the species to its left has zero population. Your opponent feeds her whale cleaner to keep it alive. Your opponent's parasite does not have enough population to age, so it goes extinct. That's kind of sad. Bye-bye. So now I leech from this. Now the reef is empty. Our filter feeder cannot eat, and it will fall below five population, so we need to repopulate the reef. Hover over the symbiotic card in your hand and see that nine population icon in the corner... It lets us migrate nine population in between oceans. Drag the card face up deck on the left side of the screen. Now click the reef as the destination. Because that it moves nine over. Okay, so that's just what that means there. Well done, plenty of populations in the reef now. Let's forge with our filter feeder. Okay.
Good deal. Our parasite was blocked by the transparent from leeching. What's the transparent? That. That, 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 that. Gotcha. Let's take another deep card. Hover over the deep cards for another look. Neither of these look like much help, so let's draw one from the deck. Once you select from the deck, you must take one of the three cards. That's better. Blubber could come in handy. Take it. it. May store nine extra population on the species board. Oh, that means, like, on this? That's pretty cool. We have a, a filter feeder that's got blubber and schooling. You score three points this round for a total of 20 points. Skip discarding again. It's your opponent's turn. So, yeah, how do we play these? That's what I do want to know. Your opponent plays another tentacle trait on her species. You're allowed to have duplicates of the same trait. Oh. Well, there you go. So then I'm assuming you can attack three times, which is very annoying. And then, you, <laughs> then the final one, you just take from there. Our opponent has a lot of... Uh, has a lot of defenseless population, and we need a defense for our whale cleaner. Find a blue surface trait that adds both attack and defense. Oh, okay, okay. Apex Predator makes it so it can no longer get stuff from here, but it gains three attack and two defense. Interesting. Or we could, like, make a new one with it. The yellow icon on the Apex Predator means your species loses two less population when it's attacked. Let's attack, attack your opponent's symbiotic. Chomp. So we gain three. Dang, okay. Seems good. I feel like I could have attacked this too and I would have gotten three, well, whatever. Or two. Uh, we've gotten enough deep cards. Let's skip taking one this round. I guess I wish I knew why you think I should skip this turn. We're not able to discard deep cards, so skip discarding until the end of your turn. Your opponent added a defense on the symbiotic species. Now we need an attack score greater than four to attack that species. Gotcha. Inking. This is really interesting, though. Our opponent just triggered the Cambrian Explosion. This happens as soon as the first ocean runs out of population. This is a period of rapid evolutionary change. Four things change now. You can play two traits per turn. Every species ages two population. And you can play deep cards. And the scenario in the first ocean becomes active. Ooh. Okay. Scenario card activated. So this is now true. We can use one of our deep traits now, but before we do, let's make some space. Remove the whale cleaner from your apex predator species. Oh, you can do this. Now let's make a super predator. Play the Le Leviathan on your apex predator, giving them five extra attack. Oh my god. The power of the deep will cost us, though. You have to pay, play its, pay its migratory value out of our score. Let's pay the population to ocean two. Oh, so we pay, uh, how much did it cost? It costs three, so we have to pay three from our points into the ocean. We can play two traits now, so let's play a shark cleaner on our filter feeder so it stays above five population. After species with three or more attacks, gain two if it's the closest shark cleaner on either side. Great. We can still only feed one species. Let's use the Leviathan to take our opponent down a notch and attack with the most population. I mean, makes sense. We can steal the most that way. But it does overflow. Shoot, we overpopulated. As soon as we hit 10 population, we need to give... Wait, as soon as you hit 10, you give 5 back. Discard them into the second ocean. Gotcha. So if we hit 10... That's across the board. If we hit 10, we have to give half, I'm assuming. Look at that. Our shark cleaner took 3 food now instead of 2. That's because of the active scenario in Ocean 1. Traits with gains. 
We age two population per species now. We need to play, pay attention to keep the species alive. Now let's discard the whale cleaner. Opponent must migrate food to the reef in order to eat. Last round triggered. The hell? By emptying all of the oceans, our opponent triggered the last round. We went first, so our opponent goes last. Reserve population are placed in Ocean 3 for the last round. Your opponent can attack you, so you must forge from the reef. So he must forge from the reef. At the end of the game, we get one point for each population in our score bag and one for each population remaining on our species. Okay, so we get the 26 and then we get all of these. Is it just that simple? I mean, hey, I did it. All right, I mean, cool. I mean, I'm not going to create an account right now. Not, okay, maybe I will. I don't think I have to. If you close and open the game, it doesn't look like you have to, but I just did because I wanted to. Uh, let's go ahead and let's do an AI game here. Purchase from store to unlock hard AI and all personnel. What the heck? Unlocked. Oh, that's my bad. I did. Okay. That's my bad. All right. I, I had it. I just had to relaunch. We're all good. Um, let's go ahead and... I. Uh, Balance? I don't know. We'll just do balance. Let's just do easy balance. I want to check that out. Deck editor. Deep cards. Oh, what? Scenario cards? So you can change these. I'll just do the standard deck for now. But that's cool. Alright. Let's, uh, let's get totally wrecked. Play slash migrate your cards. So we can really, we can do anything now. Now I'm scared. We can do anything we want and we can absolutely get wrecked. May feed an additional time. May have an extra trait. Uh, gives them two, 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 two. Wait, really? That seems really good. I could be wrong. We want a deep card. May not be attacked by species with two attack or greater. Discard this trait if it is if it's green or red is greater than two. Oh, okay. Interesting. Aging plus two after an adjacent species attacks takes a population from that species. I'm not positive that I want those. Uh, aging 2, take 2 extra population when it gains. May have an extra trait. May store 9 extra population on the species board. May not forage. May attack an additional time. Population from each attack after the first goes directly to your score pile. Ooh. Let's get wild. Do you want to discard anything? I feel like Apex Predator into Deep Sea Kraken is an interesting situation there. Then we'll keep Symbiotic. Probably can ditch Schooling. I think I'll keep... I might keep Inking. So I can't... Uh, I can't steal from you here now. May feed an additional time. Uh, yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to apex predator yet. I guess I'll do this for now. We'll just join here. All right. Select a deep card. I guess so. This the the penalty is that it takes up my hand slot. Yeah. Species loses four population to the reef after attacking or leeching from the species. Gains three after an attack. Reduces... Wait, gains three after an attack reduces the species to zero. 
I think I'm good for now. Probably don't need another tentacle. Okay, once again, you got nothing. So if you're not going to be playing with any of that, I guess I'll just go for this for now. We'll just keep stealing stuff over there. May have an extra trait. Double each attack on this species trait. Hmm. After being attacked, may replace this trait with a free deep card in the gene pool. That's pretty good. Again, I'm going to say no deep for now. Species go extinct when they overpopulate. Place all, po all population in the reef. So I guess that's the big thing I'll need to worry about is overpopulating my speed, boy. Okay, so you attacked me, huh? So you keep on... I was going to say, you keep on playing with fire there, my friend. Which makes this awkward. I wanted something to attack. It felt logical. But now I am confused. It says you can have an extra trait, but where does it go? Okay, so you take from the ocean. Select the deep card. It's the same ones. I'm going to say nah. So you got two in your hand there. You are just going to get bodied. I definitely am going to get rid of it. At least one inkling here. Inking. So you got, what, a parasite? I'm actually happy about that. Parasitic. Uh, before your feeding phase, leeches two from the right. I mean, not right now. <laughs> no, no, thank you. Not right now. I feel like I need another thing, but it's like... I guess I'll drop down my parasite. And then... Yoink, yoink. Species go extinct when they overpopulate. Play two cards instead of one. So does that happen immediately, immediately? So where does it show all of those uh, those rules again? It's uh, it, we we play two, everything goes twice. We can play um, these now, but I guess I don't really know if I need deep sea kraken at this point. You're not really doing anything. Yeah, you're, you're just gonna slowly die as far as I'm aware. And I don't really need to be aggressive. Interesting. I feel like never overpopulates might actually be valid now. Well, Species may forage from any ocean zone if we activate that. So is this no longer active? Play or migrate another card. I don't know. Because you can't... Uh, oops. Can't go from here. So we could steal eight from here and put it there. So now theoretically we can forage from any zone. Gotcha. Yoink. 
We gotta be careful. We're getting close to... Well, no, but epi epizootic. Oh, heck. We were one too shy there. You you had nothing. I couldn't do anything. They have an extra trait. May forge from any ocean zone. Already got that. Lose two population to the reef after they attack or are attacked by this species. Again? I feel like they need some stuff in order for that to be relevant. So we can't discard that. Okay. So we can attack something now. You've got something that I can attack you, you fool. You absolute dingus doingus. I feel like I should, um... May not be attacked or leached. If I play this here, this kills their uh, their parasite. So I can play or migrate another card. So once these are gone, it triggers the final turn of the game, yeah? Apex Predator. It's irrelevant right now. It, it really is just completely irrelevant at the moment. Uh, if we do bottom feeder, and the species to the right is this one, we gain. So, sure. Uh, let's just be a bully. Oh, I beefed it. I beefed it. I beefed it. I beefed it. <laughs> I beefed it. I forgot that gives, that gets them two. Oh, man. All right. Everything was going... I mean, let's be honest. Everything is still going well. Skip discard. I mean, Tentacled, I think, is good. It discards for a lot. They have a lot of stuff that can't do much. So that's dead. This is still there. Um... Sure. With three or more of that forages, no. I feel like maybe I should have gone for. Wait, can't I? I yeah, I can add deep sea kraken. Population from each attack after the first go directly to your score pile. Now that actually is kind of interesting. Pay for your deep card. Select a body of water to pay to. Um, I kind of don't want that active. So now we attack for five. And any attack after the first goes directly to our, our bank. So let's kill that just for next turn for a sec. These go directly to my bank. I really like that. And you can't attack again. Wait, you can attack... Wait, what? I just wanted to know. Should I have? No. Is it fun? Yes. It's silly. Okay, so now we should probably uh, make sure we clear out those. Which is not something I can do by myself. Let's, let's take one of these. I'm curious. When shark cleaners gain... Can we hide this? No. Aging plus one. Species lose three population to the reef after attacking the species. Shark cleaners gain this takes. Eh. Do I want tentacled? I mean, I need something to take from the reef, so I guess no to Apex Predator. Maybe no from inking. Okay, you're moving lots of stuff over. Okay. All right, they've started to get a lot of points all of a sudden. Can't help but notice. Player, migrate your card. Yeah, I feel like the card that I uh, that I kind of let die there was 
sort of what I needed. Okay. We'll just do that for now. We need to steal. The thing is, as soon as these don't have food or are gone, I'm like, I'm out of here, dude. Oh, wait, I thought we had one more attack. I thought I thought we did. No, okay, we don't get two attacks. All right, all right, all right. All of a sudden, we've got problems. Ignores its own, atta or its own attack, uses this to attack. Ignores schooling when attacking. May not attack or be attacked by species with a surface trait. Uh, evolves other deep traits for free. That's pretty cool, but I think that um, Bubble Net actually sounds kind of nice. In the event that we uh, ditch all of those and try and find uh, something else good here. Symbiotic. I think we've, uh, I think we've started to maybe possibly have an issue here. Okay, so, but so have they. They're, f they're filled to feed her. So the other guy finally being gone is really, really nice. Okay. Gains one after this. There's no right. This actually could work. This could totally work. So we get one, we get one. They don't die. Oh god. The fact that it uses two. Cause you're you are gonna die, aren't you? You do die. You should have done what? Parasitic? Cause he only gets one. Unless I attack the same thing twice. I need you to have more guys with dudes. Okay, we're, oh, we are good. We are good. I can't attack. I can attack one of my allies again. I'm surprised that it let me do that. I'm going to skip the feeding. So we are alive. I'm going to say... No. We might take the... What do we take then? We don't want extra aging. I don't actually want parasitic. I need them to have those. Uh, this is huge. We should have put. We should have played shark cleaner last time. It's one after this piece to the right. Species may now forage from any ocean zone. We're getting really close to the end of this here. Dead. Shark cleaner's great. These are, I guess, ir irrelevant, I, I suppose. Hulu leech. Yeah, I don't really need these. If I don't need them, I guess I'll put them on so I can draw another card at this point. I know I'm going to have to throw away a point for it, but I think it's worth it. I don't know. I'm stealing so many from them that you would think I'd be fine. And I would have more points at the end, but we shall see. This is going to get actually a little bit gnarly. I may need to... One, two. I may need to attack and then attack my ally. I actually might need to attack my ally next turn to stop over overpopulation. Two, two, one, two, one, two, three, four. You can attack it for one, two, three, four, five. But then you're going to overpopulate. This is wild. Uh, play on any player species. It counts as a trait and may not be removed or copied. You score two. 
you score two of its population before it ages. Oh, wow. Gains one when each bottom feeder tr uh, triggers. Sure. That, that one we're going to put over here. Get rid of all of those. Yeah, symbiotic is going to be a problem. Oh. Speaking of problem. Speaking of problem. I have nothing to attack. You've... Everything has died. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, indeed. Gains two after the species to the right is attacked. Species... Oh, my God. This is... Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is bad. I had not considered... Gains two after the species to the right is attacked. Gains one when each... Huh. So could we do this? And then we attack ourselves? Maybe? That's so awkward. I love it. Means one after the species to the left forges or attacks. I am, think I'm donezo there. Gains one after the species to the right forges or attacks. After the species to the right is attacked, it would be you. If I could, if I could attack you, I can't attack you though, unless. Oh my god, this is so. This is such a wild loop-de-loop -loop here. I actually think that you might be dead unless... So if you attack here, then that's fine. Right? Yeah, that that's okay. You can't attack twice, though. God, this is a mess. I'm trying to figure out how to self-destroy myself in order to stay alive. I have to I have to literally cannibalize myself to not lose my guys. If we do this and then we attack left, I think that we Well, you're not going to die. You're not going to die. If we don't do anything, you don't die. I just don't get to do anything. You die. Unless I cannibalize here. Uh but if I attack Oh my god, this is so messy. I want the game to be over, because I think that... Uh... Oh. Oops. Should have done it in the opposite way. Uh, Yeah, last round triggered. Oh, okay, so there we go. I think that that's our, in our best interest. And then the question is... Who attacks who here? Because if you attack here... I, if I attack there, you forage, you gain two. So this actually works out okay. It's stupid. Yes, but it works. Uh-huh. 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 All right. Infinite energy. <laughs> I knew that there was uh, something in there. I just didn't realize it was so stupid. All right. I, I think I win. Oh, God. It's not even close. All right. <laughs> even though I ate my own units. So, I mean, it was the easy computer. Uh, had I known it would be that easy, I would have at least bumped it up. But, hey, that was a lot of fun. I really did enjoy it. Uh, yeah, there's pass and play online. So, like, turn-based where you, like, you make a move and you come back later and see what the other opponent does. There's uh, online. I don't know how populous it, uh, it is. It uh, is new. 
and I imagine like this is the kind of thing that I would recommend maybe if you picked it up with a friend, especially because um, the low barrier to entry. You can play online. You can play a game online for free each day. But to do more than that, I think you need the full version. I think that's how it is. Like, it's more or less, like, it's a free demo. And it, I would say, probably be better if it was kind of advertised as such. Uh, but, yeah, for a neat little board game interpretation, I think it's a it's a really fun little time. I, I enjoy it. Uh, whenever I do these, and, and this is, like, probably what the point is of these uh, adaptations, is I play this and I'm like, you know what? I should pick up the board game. That's a, that'd be fun to have. Uh, it's got a lot of the that board game feeling of the first little bit being like, oh my god, what the hell's happening? And then you're just like, oh, okay, I mean, I get it. This one, the tutorial was relatively uh, succinct, pretty darn good. I really did uh, think it was not too bad. Uh, and yeah, I, I enjoy it. I like this theme. I like survival theme, like survival themed card games, nature themed card games, things like that. Uh, and this is no exception. I really enjoyed it. I'd love to play this with people uh, someday. But last, last, that's that. That's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Check the channel. I cover indies and more every single day, typically with an extra specialty in roguelikes and roguelites. If you're a fan of deck builders, like the board game deck builders, I cover lots of uh, digital deck builders and things like that. If there's ever any good board game adaptations on Steam, I will typically check those out as well. So stay tuned to this channel. Thank you, thank you. And I will see you next time. Bye!